Okay, I'm going to tell you now how the hybrid uh, EVF slash penaprism of the uh, Nikon D850 will work by demonstrating this with a Nikon D500 center section. Obviously, we have the lens here. We actually have the reflex mirror here, and behind here would be the sensor. Now, sitting on top of this, this is a Nikon D500 penaprism. It's larger on a full-frame camera. Obviously, your viewfinder eyepiece is right behind here. If we actually take a look at this diagram, okay, we actually have the light coming in from the lens, hitting the reflex mirror, okay, going back to the sensor, which flips up out of the way. The light passes up through here, through the uh, uh, through your focusing screen, uh, reflects off your penaprism, and back to your viewfinder. Now, what is happening, and how this works? And there's two ways to achieve it: either split uh, using a semi-transparent um, uh, mac. Uh, however, the simple way would be sticking the EVF right here and uh, using a semi-transparent screen, which means it's partially mirrored. So when it's off, it becomes black, just like any TV screen does. So what's happening is, is the light's passing up through here. Just use it like a regular red Nikon DSLR. But if you're gonna do video or focus peaking, the mirror flips up out of the way, the light hits the sensor, and what that does is it feeds this section, which is the electronic viewfinder, because nobody wants to use video or focus peaking out in a bright sunny day by looking at the back of the LCD screen. You want to look through the viewfinder like a regular mirrorless camera, correct? Oh, um, Sony and Fuji are going to poop their pants over this one. So what you do is you replace this section of the penaprism with an electronic viewfinder. You just mount it on the front. Okay, that's the reason for the bulbous front end. I uploaded new pictures too. Also, so the also too, you see this on the Nikon D500. This is a screw hole, okay, for holding it to the, the the top chassis of the camera. Now on the Nikon D5, D4s, there's a couple screw holes here. If you see from the new images, these are not screw holes on the images uploaded on the Nikon D850. There are two holes up here which are eye detectors, which means and there's a switch over here too above the. Uh, the diopter correction. These eye holes are the same as on a Sony or Fuji film. It detects your eye, detects your eye, and will flip the mirror up out of the way and feed the electronic viewfinder from right here, which means that the mirror will flip up, the LCD screen will get the information for video and for focus peaking, and then the electronic viewfinder, excuse me, electronic viewfinder will flip on, which will be located right here. This is actually looking the other way. If I actually have the penaprism flipped around this way, your eye is over here. This is slightly different shape, but it's, a, it's also a penaprism. So this part will be an electronic viewfinder feeding directly to your eye. So you could use it right like a, a regular DSLR. It'll be exactly like a DSLR, except for the fact that this section will be an electronic viewfinder. So to use it for focus peaking and for video work without having to take your eye out of the viewfinder, because nobody wants to look at the back LCD screen, the mirror flips out of the way, the LCD, uh, excuse me, the sensor gets the information, it feeds that data, the same as on any mirrorless camera, it feeds that data to the electronic viewfinder, which is turned on, which is has a coating on the front which is semi-transparent, means it's partially mirrored. It's actually, it's fully transparent, but it's partially mirrored, excuse me. A partially mirrored mirror. When the mirror flips up out of the way, Everything up here is black except for the electronic viewfinder, which turns on. This is an ingenious bleeping move from Nikon. Now that I've seen the two images that show the two holes up here, which are eye detectors, I'm nothing short of 100% certain that there is a hybrid. It shouldn't be hybrid EVF slash optical. It should be called hybrid EVF uh, uh, penaprism or hybrid EVF DSLR, it doesn't matter what you call it, but hybrid EVF optical, okay, that's perfectly fine. So everything on a regular DSLR is the same. So this is how the implementation of it works. So when you're gonna do video or focus peaking with like manual focus lenses, your mirror flips up out of the way. Your penaprism, which sits right up here, let me place it here, the bracket that holds it is missing right now, and the EVF is turned on and is being fed from the sensor. So this is how the Nikon D850 works. And this is both incredibly simple, but bleeping ingenious. I'm actually extremely pissed at myself for not realizing that this would be what uh, Nikon uh, would do. I really am pissed at myself because I should have seen this. It's very brilliant. All you have to do is remove, this is just black right here. And the inside of it, of course, is mirrored, obviously. You just make this a, uh, a uh, a partial a uh, a what are, I forget the exact technical name. It's a partial mirror on the front of the EVF, and once it's blacked out from the uh, flip up uh, reflex mirror, turning it on will just feed your eyeball. 
So you never have to take your eye out of the viewfinder. Ingenious. So this is how the Nikon uh, D850 will work. And uh, this all makes sense too. To feed that EVF and have like a high frame rate where you're ripping them off, you know. I noticed that the grip profile was not the same size as the D500 or the D750. It's larger to accommodate that larger battery because the D500 was already stretching the max, the max limits of the power capability of the ENEL15 battery. So it'll be a big honking battery like on the Nikon D5 or something similar to that. It will be a big honking battery, but that's no big deal. Nikon batteries are not that expensive and they last a really long time. There's no people really bitching about Nikon batteries. So the fact that you have to buy a different, new, bigger battery is nothing to bitch about. Um, not seriously, it isn't. So that's uh, how the uh, Nikon D850 works. Just replacing this section. This section you're actually looking at right now is this facet right here and once it's blacked out underneath from the reflex mirror flipping up out of the way then you're just looking at the electronic viewfinder ingenious move from freaking nikon ingenious so this is how the d850 works i hope you like this video if you do you can make a small donation tell me to jump off a cliff whatever makes you happy but you saw it here first thank you